I'm going to try something today that's really, I mean, hasn't everybody cooked a pot roast? <laughs> I'm going to cook, I'm going to try something different on this pot roast. It's something I've never tried before. Maybe you all have and you can share your um, opinions on it if you have. But I'm going to try making a pot roast Hawaiian slash Sandy style. <laughs> because I don't have one of the ingredients. I'm changing up a couple of the other ingredients. <laughs> So it's kind of Hawaiian-ish, kind of Sandy-ish. So let's go. All right, first I'm gonna make some, some spices up. The first ingredient is paprika. And the recipe calls for three tablespoons. That's kind of a tablespoon. Ah. Okay, that's good. All right, now the recipe calls for two tablespoons of brown sugar. But one of our viewers, is it Susan? One of our viewers says she recommended um, coconut sugar. I have no idea if it'll work in this recipe. We're gonna try it. And it's two tablespoons. Then one tablespoon of pepper. Okay, close enough. And one tablespoon of Hawaiian rock salt. We've got sea salt. It's not rock. It's not even Hawaiian. It's not Hawaiian. So... <laughs> We'll see what happens. Then one and a half teaspoons each of garlic powder. Onion powder, and chili powder. Now the ingredient that I don't have is they gave several options. A half teaspoon of cayenne, chipotle, or dry Hawaiian chili pepper. For some reason I was thinking I had chili pepper. I have chili powder. And evidently they're two different things. Okay, so I'm gonna stir this all up. And pour some on the <laughs> And over here, I just did that too. Because what's a kitchen, what's cooking in the kitchen with Sandy without a mess? I'm a mess, and the counter's a mess. All right. You know what else I've never done? I've never actually rubbed a roast, so here we go. There you go. <laughs> there, how does that feel, honey? <laughs> I know the doggies like it. <laughs> yep. My daughter's doggies love to be rubbed. In fact, they'll come and pull your hand off your lap. <laughs> One of them gets very aggressive and she uses her fingernails to pull if your hand off her lap. If she's or off your lap. Not getting enough attention. And trust me, she gets attention, but they're just sweet doggies. Well, she can't get enough attention, apparently. No. <laughs> they're just cute, sweet doggies. They're Maybe. little. They're, oh, yeah. They're little Iggy's, they're Italian Greyhounds, the little ones. They're so cute. All and have such personality. Yes. One of them likes to dress up. <laughs> Her dog, Harley, likes to wear costumes. <laughs> she likes sweaters and hats. The other three, not so much, but that one? No, in fact, I think I'm going to make Harley a hair bow. <laughs> She'd probably wear it, too. She probably would. 
I think Harley's going to start getting outfits for Christmas. I've never bought a dog Christmas present before, but, you know, she's a girl after my own heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got to have the clothes and the accessories. Mm -hmm. She wore shoes. I, I didn't know. <laughs> Is there a doggy shoe store? I don't know. When Callie gets this, she's going to text me and say, seriously, Mom? <laughs> when she sees this, not gets it. Oh, she'll get it. <laughs> all right. They're I, all better. Yeah, now you're all rubbed. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's all over my fingers. How's yeah, that? It is. I'm it's like a going... bad suntanning thing. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, new suntan lotion. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up with some saran wrap, and I'm going to put it in the fridge overnight, and then tomorrow... We'll finish up the Hawaiian touches, or sandy touches, whatever, and and we'll see how it tastes. And we'll be back. I bet the Hawaiian people who watch this probably think, I have never seen a roast anything like that before. <laughs> Alright, it's the next day, and the roast has been basking in the glory of the <laughs> rub all night long in the fridge I'm going to we are going to use sweet potatoes now I know before when I've made roasts I always use white potatoes but because I didn't think I like sweet potatoes but I have found out that in my old age I have grown to like sweet potatoes and so and they are excellent because they don't need butter they have so much flavor they don't need anything on top we really like the sweet potatoes then I'm going to add some carrots. Then I'm going to put this whole bag of pineapple chunks. Look, the oven's ready. All over it. Break them up a little bit. Are they fighting? You they were. I had to separate them so they could calm their bodies down. Break it up. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Even though the roast will generate a lot of its own fluid. And then I'm going to cover this in heavy duty tin foil. And I'm going to put it in the oven on 350 for about three and a half to four hours. And then we'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like and tell you what it tastes like. Okay, first of all, disclaimer. I just watched Inez's video on going to Winco and Paul making a rub for the graduation party. I did not copy, I promise. I just watched the video. We started this yesterday and, and the rubs actually have kind of the same ingredients in them. A little different measurements though, but... But genetics are strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My son and I came up with the same rub kind of. Anyway, I just took the roast out of the oven. So let's look at it together and see. Oh, oh man. that looks good. Oh. Looking, it might have burned in. Oh. Let's pull this out. No, don't tell people my one of my passions. <laughs> oh, that looks yummy. I really do like burnt ends, and they're not good for you because oh. they're car carcinogenic. Is that the right word? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I still like them. Oh, those potatoes look good. They do, and they are. Oh, look at this. Let's see if I can get some of the. Well, hang on. Get the rest of these out. All of these things out the carrots and the pineapple. Lots of juice if you're into making gravy. This would be awesome. Oh, I wonder what we could use the juice for. I have no idea. I don't cook. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is cut a little bit off. 
see what it tastes like. Oh, that looks good. Uh -oh. Oops. Okay. Look. Edie just had a carrot. All right. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. mm hmm Carrot's really good, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that has a really good flavor. Mmm. You know what else I'm going to try? No. I'm going to try pineapple. Ooh, okay. I'll show you. It might be hot. It's all good to me. Uh -huh. I just ate mine. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't eat things when you pull, first pull them out of the oven because they're going to burn your tongue a little bit. Nah, and the blisters will heal. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're going to have for two or three or four days because our lunches. Yeah, we don't actually eat a lot of meat, so that'll last us a quite long a while. Time. I will divide it up and then I'll freeze some of it and then we'll use it probably over the next few weeks. Anyway, this is really good. I yes, really it like is. it. I love the seasonings on that meat. Really tasty. So that's it for this time. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and, and leave us a comment if you have some raw recipes or some roast recipes that you like better than usual and, and maybe we'll give those a try too. And we'll be back. <laughs>